It is March the 3rd, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site in the St. Simon Sound. And we start off tonight with another picture of some debris washed up on Jekyll Island today. Uh, we had this uh, photo submitted to us, and uh, we can see that this is uh, like a piece of, uh, a piece of a vehicle from off the ship. It's obvious that it's been in the water for a while. We can see some small barnacle growth on it uh, through the from the uh, photograph. It's been in there for a little while, but unfortunate to see that uh, that debris washing up. Uh, hopefully, it got picked up and and disposed of. But just a shot of we're seeing some stuff moving around uh, in the water column. Well, out of the golden out of the VB today. We saw some personnel moving around on top of the rig. Um, the When we first got out there, the work barge that we've seen underneath the arches was still in place. and uh, But we really didn't see any activity going on there. Um, we figured out why uh, not too long from that as uh, they were preparing to move it out. Uh, they had the blocks and the spreader bars were pulled up to the top of the uh, VB. And we could see that they had uh, the offshore cutting block pulled over to the deck. The inshore uh, block was down, and then we kind of got a good look at the uh, the block, and we could see it uh, the the chain block uh, hanging from uh, from the first set of uh, uh, system uh, cutting system that's that's uh, supporting it. Got a pretty good pretty good look at that, and. Things were starting to happen, and this was late in the day when we saw this. We first started hearing a little bit of radio chatter about uh, the Caitlin coming over to pick up uh, pick up the work barge, and we got to see all that happen today. See them come in and pick that pick that work barge up and maneuver it out from between the arches, and it was uh, carried on. Uh, behind Jekyll Island and moored along with some other uh, barges there. But we, we saw the tug working and got a little bit of video as, as this was going on. And then the, we could see that the, that the cranes uh, were, were, at least one of them was kind of moving around and thought something was, was getting ready to happen. Uh, wasn't much, um, uh, Longer after seeing the Caitlin move the barge out, we noticed that the Crosby Star was uh, headed out to the uh, VB-10,000. Uh, not sure exactly what they were doing, but we didn't really see anything on the deck of the uh, Crosby Star. Uh, last time that we did see the Crosby Star out like this, uh, she was bringing fuel out to the VB uh, to refuel it. Uh, so... We can only assume right now that that's what was going on. They were bringing uh, some more fuel out to the VB uh, off the uh, Crosby store. Of course, they just have the the Crosby store uh, fueled up, and then uh, they offload the fuel. They pump the fuel directly off the barge onto uh, the tanks of the, um, the supply tanks on the VB. And the cranes were. Uh, Put up, swung around, and we could see that they were attaching them to the uh, that spider wire, the spider system of anchor lines that come out from the VB to the mooring anchors, and everything was raised up. Of course, when we see that happening, we know that they're getting close to moving the the VB. So we kind of watched this operation. It was kind of kind of neat to listen to it on the radio and then see these cranes kind of working in unison, uh, first the offshore side and uh, then the, uh, the west side or inshore side of the, of the wreck. They sus picked up those anchoring lines, and now they have to be picked up in order to move the VB back and forth over those set of pilings that make up um, the uh, north gate here, uh, the opening from where they... Uh, move the VB in into the wreck site, and then also bring those big big barges in to, to remove the, the
the sections of ship after they've cut it. But the, uh, the mooring lines, because of the positioning of that environmental barrier, uh, they have to, in order to clear those pylons, they have to pick them up. Uh, they do that with these uh, two cranes, and then they're able to uh, winch the, the VB uh, into position back over the ship. And that's kind of what we started to see. Now, we're sure that they didn't move it all the way back over the ship. Again, they had the, the Crosby Star there, which we know that they're probably bringing fuel. And uh, what I'm sure they're going to do is, is get the uh, VB back inside the environmental barrier enough uh, to uh, take care of that fueling operation. Uh, the good news about seeing this is this means they're probably getting very close to going ahead and moving the VB to that bow section so we can start uh, trying to cut that section and at least try to get a, a, another section of the Golden Ray up and out of the water and try to at least try to stop some of the some of the debris and, and then some of the contaminants that we've seen moving around. Uh, it's, time is of the essence. Um, and you can see the see the VB here kind of kind of creeping back over the ship a little bit. We got a few pictures here coming up of the, the actual cut site where um, which were uh, section two will actually be cut and um, so you guys can kind of see where they torched into this thing and you can see into the ship there a little bit some of that structure that that chain will uh, eventually hopefully be cutting through to separate that section. We're still waiting for the Julie B barge. Uh, if you'll remember, the Julie B is already has a cradle manufactured on it uh, to receive this uh, second uh, section. It took the first section uh, on one one set of cradles that were already prepared. Uh, the the other section has been specially made to receive this section, and the, this section will go on to the Julie B. Well, hey, that's about all we've got time for today. I'd like to thank you for tuning in and watching the channel. We ask if you haven't done it yet to please subscribe to the channel and then also send us some comments. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.